Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating this vector badge using Illustrator. And I know you're probably already saying there's a million of these out there, and I know, but there's not a million out there that I've done, so I'm going to do it. And quite frankly, there's going to be a lot of basic stuff in this tutorial, so this is really going to be geared toward, you know, you're new to Illustrator, you're trying to figure some things out. Matter of fact, I'll probably specifically call this a 101 tutorial. Uh, so we're going to take a look at some of the basic things. You're going to learn a little bit about masking, about choosing color and gradients, and some cool things like that. And we're going to create this semi-complex shape uh, here in Adobe Illustrator, but we're going to do it quickly, we're going to do it pretty easily, and you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So, let's get started. We're going to go File New. You don't need anything to start this tutorial, just Adobe Illustrator. And I'm using Adobe Illustrator CS4. You will be able to do I believe virtually everything I do here in this tutorial uh, in older versions of Illustrator. I don't think um, there's anything that's version specific right off the top of my head at least. Uh, we're going to start with a new document size 800 wide by 600 high. Hit OK. And uh, the first thing we're going to do uh, is take a look at how we can choose color and how to create gradients because that's going to be basically the first thing we do after we create our badge shape which is going to be very easy to create. So I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool here. You can grab any one of your shape tools. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and I'm just going to draw out a big circle. Now a quick trick is if you're drawing out a circle or a square if you want to make that a perfect square or a perfect circle hold down the shift key Okay, and you can see, there we go, we have a nice circle. Now, it looks like just a black outline. What that is, is it's a black stroke running around a white fill. You can see here in the tools panel, you have two color swatches. One is a fill, one is a stroke. Let's edit the fill of this circle. You're going to be editing your fill primarily by using the color panel, all right? It's going to be the fastest, easiest way to tweak colors here in Adobe Illustrator. You've got your RGB sliders, and you've got a full color spectrum here. Now. You have to be careful when you're using this because the color or the swatch that's in the forefront is the color you're editing. Right now I'm working with fill. If I click on stroke, I'm now working with stroke. See, if I drag this all the way over to red, we now have a nice red stroke around this. Matter of fact, I'm just going to make the stroke a bit bigger using my stroke panel. I'm going to make it a 20 point stroke so you can really see it. It's red. I'm going to drag it back to black. You can drag it up to green. All right, so that's how you're going to edit color here in uh, Illustrator. Now, if you don't like RGB, hit the little flyout menu and you've got grayscale, which is just black to white. You have hue, saturation, brightness, which is very easy to use, very intuitive, and also CMYK. All these are color selection methods. It's basically a color mixer and you'll be mixing cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. This doesn't convert your document to CMYK or anything crazy like that. Uh, HSB, I think, is the easiest for beginners. You bring brightness and saturation all the way up to 100% and choose your hue first. Do you want a blue, a pink, a red, a yellow, whatever? Let's say we want a lighter blue. Go to lighter blues. You're all the way brightness, you know, as, you know, as high as it can go. So if you want to get a little brighter, reduce saturation a little bit and you'll get a brighter blue. All right. So very, very easy to choose colors using uh, the color panel. And by the way, you can find the color panel under Window Color. All these panels I'm talking about, Stroke, I mentioned that. You can find it here under Window Stroke. Um, and just basically all of these panels that we're going to be covering in this tutorial. Alright, so that's how you're going to choose color. You can also just freeform go in with the eyedropper. Choose either black or white to set swatches there. You select the little slash icon if you want to get rid of it. Like let's say I don't want a stroke. Hit the slash icon, bam, it's gone. Select my fill and I can make that a nice light blue. All right, or I can make it a pink. Whatever you want. Okay, or you can go in freeform and choose with the eyedropper tool. Okay. So very, very easy to select color. That's going to be important here because we're going to use that in conjunction with the gradient panel to create a cool gradient for our badge. So let's get started and create our badge. I'm going to select the shape and just hit the delete icon to dump that. We're working on layer one right over here. You don't need to worry about creating a new layer. And click and hold on that ellipse tool that you were just using and move down and grab the star tool. All right, this is, uh, this is an interesting tool. I'm going to zoom out there, just control minus or command minus on the Mac. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag, and you can see I already have uh, what looks like a, a badge. It's because I was just playing around with it, so I'm going to uh, get back to what would be more like a star shape, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing all this stuff in just a moment. All right, so here's what yours probably looks like, something like this. Now, a quick tip, when you're drawing with any of these shape tools, just hold down the space bar key, and you can move your shape around before you even actually draw it, so that's very, very helpful. 
Um, now, this obviously doesn't look like a badge, so we need to do a couple things. Number one, we need to add more teeth to it. So use the up and down arrow keys to add or remove teeth. You can get to just a perfect triangle this way if you want. Okay, so we're going to add a bunch of teeth, something like that. And then obviously these teeth are way too long. A badge is just these stubby little guys. So we're going to hold down the control key on the Mac. This would be command. And we're just going to pull in until we have what looks more like a badge. All right, and that looks pretty good. So we're going to let go. You can see our... Fill color was that teal, that like Baja beachy green. Uh, we don't really want that as our fill color, but you can see that we have a fill and our stroke is slashed. There's no stroke on this. Okay, so that's, that's nice. We don't want a stroke on it right now. So we're going to fill it with a nice bright blue. So we're going to slide our hue over to blue. Uh, and we're going to you know, semi-desaturated bright blue. Maybe make it just a little darker. There we go. Something like that. Now that we have our object, we can see it, we're going to go ahead and apply a gradient. So I'm going to grab the gradient tool, or the gradient panel, excuse me. I'm actually going to drag it out here so you guys can see what I'm working with. And I'm also going to grab my color panel. All right, these, are going to, these two tools work nicely together, and you can create some very, very cool gradients using them. So let's see how we can do this. In order to activate the gradient, basically fill this with a gradient, just click on the gradient swatch. Bam, we've got white to black. Not quite what we want. We want it to be a light blue to a dark blue. So we're going to go ahead and select the white color stop. Now, well, one thing you do want to notice here, when I just have filled it with a gradient, you can see up here in the color panel, we just get this gradient and we can't really do anything. So you need to actually click on the color stop you want to edit. So I'm going to select my white color stop. You can see it's just black to white. I don't like that. I, uh, I want to just hit my flyout menu and choose HSB for hue, saturation, brightness. Here we are. Great. And you can see hue is only white. That's because saturation is all the way down. Jack that saturation up. I'm going to really choose a light blue here. There we go, something like that. Now we're going to choose the black color stop. Again, it's in grayscale, so we're going to go HSB. Bring the brightness up. Bring the blue saturation up. And then we're going to knock the brightness down because, again, I want this to be a light blue to a dark blue. And just like that, we've created a very, very simple gradient. Now to make this go from light on the bottom to dark on the top, we've got this little input box here, which is the angle. Now we're going to punch in 90 and see what that does. That brings us right to where we want to be. Light on the bottom, dark on the top. Great. Now that we've done that, I'm going to drag the color panel back to where it goes and the gradient panel back to where it goes. So we're going to quickly go ahead and just touch on masking. I'm going to run through it really quickly. Um, you should be able to pick it up, but if you have any trouble, just pause the video, rewind, watch what I do closely, um, because if it works for me, it should work for you. I'm going to try to explain everything that I believe you need to know in order to make this work for you, though. So basically, here's, here's the idea. What we need to do is create a shine here for the top of the badge and a glow for the bottom. And we do not want that glow to appear outside of the badge or the shine to appear outside of the badge. In order to do that, we're going to mask those two shapes we create to the badge. Now, you may think, well, just draw the, 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 uh, the glow in there carefully and don't get it to the outside. Well, we can't really do that because we're going to grab the ellipse tool here and we're going to draw this big white circle. And you can see there's all of this white here that's outside of our badge. What we need to do first and foremost, though, is go ahead and blur this to make it look more like a glow. So we're going to go Effect Blur, Gaussian Blur, and do something like 18. 18, 19, 20 typically works pretty well. So I'm going to hit OK. Nice. And we're going to grab the Transparency panel, which you can find, Window Transparency. We're going to select this drop-down menu and set this layer to a blend mode of soft light. There we go. We've got a nice light patch. And it looks like maybe we've gotten rid of the white out there. But just remember, we're looking at it over white, so we really can't tell. And the fact of the matter is if we were to drop a dark rectangle in behind this whole thing, we would see all of the stuff that's down here that right now we can't see. So we really need to mask this. So I'm going to select the bad shape and copy it. Command or Control C. And then I'm going to select my glow shape. And I'm going to look to my transparency panel. Up here in the transparency panel, we have this whole blank space. If you double click on that, you create an opacity mask. Note the layers panel. It says layers opacity mask. We're working within the opacity mask now. We can get back to our other layers by simply selecting this leftern or the leftmost thumbnail. I don't even think leftern is a word. Uh, so we're working here in the opacity mask. We want to paste in that bad shape that we copied. So we're going to go ahead and go edit. And you may think paste, but the problem with paste is it pastes right to the center of the document. We need to make sure this is lined up exactly on top of our badge. So we're going to go paste in front. You can interpret paste in front not only as something that pastes in front, but also paste in place. It pastes it right back in place. All right, there we go. Check out the little thumbnail. We have this blue uh, badge, and you can sort of see our glow coming back. But the problem is, if you know how masks work, black hides, white reveals. So we need this badge shape to be white here in the mask. 
So I've got it selected, and I'm just going to choose. There's that little white thumbnail. I'm just going to choose white. You can see solid white. Our glow is as strong as it's going to be, and I'm going to select the leftmost thumbnail, and bam, we are back to our original layers. Great. Let's do that with a shine really quickly. We're going to grab the ellipse tool, draw out our shine. You can see we've got all this white hanging out here. Make sure we have the, the shine ellipse selected. Double click to add the mask. And again, we have this shape copied just as if we copied a little bit of text that we're going to paste 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 20, 100 times. So you can keep pasting the shape. So we're just going to do Command or Control F. That's the shortcut for or the hotkey for uh, pasting in front. Okay, and I kind of like the, what this blue is doing. Um, the mask is only reading it really as black to white, so it's really reading it in terms of being light at the bottom, darker at the top, and it's kind of darkening up our shine up near the top, so I kind of like that. So I'm going to leave it as this blue gradient, and I'm not going to change it. I'm going to select the leftmost thumbnail, and voila, we're back to where we are. And right now, it looks like there is all that white out there because we, it's still being outlined, but the fact of the matter is it's not. If you were to draw a dark gray uh, shape behind this badge right now, you wouldn't see anything. All right, so the last thing we need to do is go ahead and add a sh uh, excuse me, a stroke and a drop shadow to this badge, and that'll complete our effect. So I'm going to select the fill. Make sure you select the fill, not the shine, not the glow. Select like the center area. And we want to add a stroke. So adding a stroke is really easy here. Up in the color panel, you can, by the way, you can do this a number of ways. Up in the color panel, click on the stroke, okay, to bring it to the forefront. And now that we've done that, just click the white swatch, and we have a white stroke. Even though you can't really see it, it's there. What I want to do is go to my stroke panel, and again, this is under window, stroke. I want to increase the size of the stroke to something like 20 points. All right, you can see it's cutting into our badge. I don't like that. So I want to choose a line stroke and align this to the outside. Okay, now that I've done that, it looks like it's disappeared. Now in order to make it come back and make it look like it is there again, we're going to throw a drop shadow underneath our shape here. So we're going to go Effect, uh, Stylize, Drop Shadow. And we're going to choose Preview. Now you can see we have a nice drop shadow appearing. Uh, I am going to offset the X maybe 6 kind of push it to the left a bit more, and maybe even the Y, offset that 6 as well. I like the blur set to 5. I am going to drop the opacity to maybe 20, just to make the effect a little less harsh. I'm going to hit OK. All right, great. Looks really good. The only thing that doesn't look that great about it right now is the fact that it's so sharp. It's so pointy. So what I'm going to do here is select the shape, select the fill shape, and we have our stroke. We can come up here and just choose to round out the joints. And by doing that, we you know really round off all of those edges um, pretty nicely, um, and I'm maybe even going to choose to round um, open open ended corners just in case we were to have. It. I mean we don't have it here, um, but we're just going to round all that off just like so. And uh, you can see that we have this nice, very soft looking, uh, glossy vectorized badge that you've created using Adobe Illustrator. You've learned a little bit about, you know, using an effect, the drop shadow. Uh, you learned about blurring, learned about, you know, gradients in the color panel and drawing shapes and how to mesh them all together, add a little bit of masking into the mix, and you can create yourself a nice shiny little badge just like this. So I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope you learned a thing or two. Thanks for sticking around and watching it. Uh, go check out the site, www.tutvid.com, for a ton of other great uh, tutorials.